Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm talking about two of my favorite Amazon brush sets. They're affordable, they're accessible, they're on Amazon India and most of all they work. I'm sure you'll agree. So if you want to see what my favorite brush sets are, then keep watching. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite brushes from Amazon. The first brush set that I have here is a set of 10 makeup brushes. This comes with a makeup sponge and a silicone brush cleaner. In total, I spent 270 rupees on this set. Second is this brush set from QNG. I guess that's how you say it. I spent 360 rupees on this brush set. So today I'm going to tell you why these two brush sets are the cheapest and the best brush sets that you will find on Amazon. For foundation, I'm going to be using this brush because it's the densest of all of the brushes in the set. So I feel like this is going to do a good job. Body Shop Foundation. As you can see, it's doing the job really well. I'm not getting any streaks on my face. Ignore the fact that I'm so tanned and this is not a good color match for me because I've been working out downstairs. So my forehead is really, really tanned. So are my arms. So I'm just gonna take the sponge that came with the set and I'm just gonna go over everything to remove any excess product. This also allows me to really push the foundation into my face. Now, this sponge, is it the softest? No, but the entire set came for 270 rupees. So in that respect, I'd say it gets the job done. Next, we'll go in with some concealer. This is LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige. For my concealer, I did not use any brushes, but that is just what I do. Okay, I'm just gonna do my brows off camera and be right back. Next, I'm gonna go in with some powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier, as always, and I'm using the makeup sponge. Now, since we don't really have a powder brush in the palette, I'm just gonna use this brush, which seems like the most sparse brush. This is more like a kabuki brush, but yeah, we're gonna be using this for powder and for blush. You know what? It absolutely did the job and it was quite soft, so I did not mind using this for powder. Next, I'm just gonna take this brush for my contour. And you guys have seen this brush because I feature this brush video after video for my contour. So yeah, this is my brush of choice and I'm gonna use it today again for my contour. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used for my powder and I'm gonna use that for blush. So, Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. I use this week after week as well, right? So it's exactly the same combo. I'm gonna take the same brush Pinch it, as I always do in every single video. And I'm just gonna go down my nose and under my chin. Next, I'm gonna take the Sleek Blush Palette. This is their Blush by 3 palette. Sleek is a cruelty-free brand, in case you're wondering. I'm gonna go into these two colors, the orangey color, since we're in fall. Then I'm just gonna go back with my contour brush and marry all of that together. 
Next, I'm going to take my sleek highlighter palette and this is in Cleopatra's Kiss. I cannot tell you how insane this contour palette is. Now I'm going to take this brush right here, which is again from the set. And I'm just going to go into these two powder colors. So this palette comes with two cream highlighters and two powder highlighters. You can see how much I love it because I've hit pan on this shade. As you can see, all of the face brushes that I have used have done the job really, really well. Given a choice, I would absolutely use this for my foundation again. You guys know that I use this brush for my contour week after week. This brush I used to not really use, but now that I know how nicely it's applied my blush, I would definitely use it again. And this brush, no complaints, look. It did a fantastic job. Now I haven't used all of the brushes from the set, but this video isn't really about showing you how to use every single brush. I guess this video is more about me proving to you that look, if you have these two brushes, you're pretty much sorted. So these are all of the brushes that I haven't used from the set. But you know what? If I had to tell you what you could use these brushes for, Look, I'm not going to recommend you putting on eyeshadow with this brush unless you absolutely don't have a choice and this is the only set that you can afford. Then, yeah, maybe you could use this for eyeshadow. But none of these brushes are blending brushes per se. This is a little sparse, so yeah, maybe you can do some blending work with this. This is quite, this is more like a stippling brush. So I would say if you want to do like cream contour down your nose or something, then maybe you could use this. This brush, it is a pencil brush. Look, I am not using this under my eyes because I'm not brave enough. If you want to, then go ahead. You could use both these brushes under your eye. But am I going to recommend these brushes to you for your eyes per se? No, not really. The brush set is only 270 rupees. You're getting a makeup sponge as well, which is fairly decent. It's okay, it does the job. Not the softest in the world, but it does the job. And the brush cleaning silicone pad thingy. That is very, very useful and I use it every single time I wash my brushes. So I would say that 270 rupees, listen, this is absolute pesa vasool, okay? Now we're going to head to eyes. And I have my Qwanj, Qwanj. I don't know how you say it. I have this brush set here. Now look, if you think that these are the only brushes from Amazon I own, nope. Over the years, I've bought brush set after brush set after brush set after brush set, okay? But this is the brush set that I want to show to you. I have another brush set which is also really nice and I bought it from eBay, but I went back to find it on eBay and it's no longer available. So I can't recommend that to you. Maybe if it comes back into stock or if I find it again on eBay, then I'll make a video. But for now, when it comes to Amazon, and there are so many brush sets, some are 800, 900, 1200, 1500. I'm sure all of those sets are pretty good as well. But for 360 rupees, trust me, these brushes are total winners. And I'll tell you why. Why do we want brushes? Why do we want brush sets? The first thing, if you are a beginner to makeup, you are looking for blending brushes. And each blending brush is 700, 800, 1000, 2000. So you don't want to spend that kind of money. So we go to Amazon trying to find blending brushes. But we buy brush set after brush set and we realize that the blending brushes aren't that good. And it isn't getting the job done because I want a nice fluffy brush that works and no, you get these brushes that are either extremely synthetic so they don't do a really good job at blending. Let me just tell you that this brush set has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it has six options when it comes to blending but I would say, forget this brush because 
this is not that great to blend with i mean you can use it but i would say that out of the six blending brushes that come in the brush set these five are absolute winners with these five brushes you are absolutely set okay in fact you've seen in a lot of my videos i keep talking about oh unnamed amazon brush set unnamed brush set this is these are pretty much it these are the brushes let's just look at them this one is a super fluffy blending brush now if you want a tapered blending brush i mean slightly tapered here you go this is your brush so in comparison you can see that this is quite fluffy this is a little more tapered if you want a blending brush that is a little smaller than the tapered blending brush here you go this is your option right here and then if you want a blending brush that is a little more flatter in comparison then here you go i'll just put them side by side so you can see this is the fluffiest brush this is the more tapered brush this is the shorter more concentrated blending brush and here you have your flat blending brush now lastly you have this blending brush which i would say is more dense than these other blending brushes because these are quite fluffy and sparse this is a little more dense so if you wanted to use this for your nose contour or if you wanted to use it to concentrate product when you're doing a halo shape then this is something that's really really good because when you're doing a halo of course you want a nice dense brush but you want it to also be somewhat like a blending brush so that you can pack and blend pack and blend hopefully you're getting what i'm saying these five brushes and your set for blending if you have smaller eyes then maybe this would work for you this is more flat so i mean it is a blending brush but it will get into the nooks and crannies quite well i'll demonstrate all of this but yeah i just thought i should mention all of the uses for these brushes before i dig in now let's look at the other brushes that come in the set this brush it's like a pencil brush but fairly useless in my opinion i mean what are you going to do with this yeah okay maybe maybe if you're putting down your first color in your halo eye or whatever and you need like a nice synthetic dense brush which is like a pencil brush then yeah you could use this next you have a somewhat stubby flat brush this is also synthetic so yeah this would be great for shimmers if you're placing them down i don't think you're going to have any problems with this i've used this with glitter before i've used this with shimmers before now this brush used to be a liner brush but then i decided to pull the bristles and they came off but that was my bad because i did it otherwise this was a pretty nice little liner brush you could line your lips or do your winged liner with it i didn't have any problems with this either now this brush synthetic brush is it the best brush in the world no it's pretty generic i mean yeah again you can do your nose contour but how many brushes do you need in one set that you could do your nose contour with i'm just trying to give you functions of the brushes now yeah i don't see this brush working when you're probably placing down your first color in your halo eye so yeah the only the only function that i can think of is nose contour sadly now the last one is this pencil brush now look i wouldn't be brave to use this under my eye okay i wouldn't if you can do it and you're looking for a synthetic pencil brush then yeah this would do the job so so that was the entire brush set now without me wasting any time let me just show you how i use the brushes on my eyes now since we're in fall and my turtleneck is out let's do some nice grungy fall makeup now please don't mind if i use a high end palette because this video is more about the brushes okay and we want to see if these brushes can really really perform so why wouldn't i give it the best shot at performing right today i'm going to be using my conspiracy palette because this has a lot of nice fall colors so i'm going to be taking the most fluffy blending brush from the set 
and I'm just gonna dig into this brown here which is called diet root beer and as you can see it's doing a really nice job of dispersing that color and blending it out Next, I'll go into this maroon called Not A Fact. I'll use the more tapered blending brush. Since this is a grungy fall look, I'm not going to be super precise with my blending because I want it all to look really nice and messy. And as you can see, the brush is doing a really good job. Next, I'm just going to take this color called Spiraling. And I'm going to take the flat brush that I spoke about. And I'm just going to put that down. As you can see, this brush does a really good job of laying the color down. Now, does it make sense for me to use every single brush? I mean, look, they're blending brushes. When you're doing a lot of makeup, generally I always tell you that if it is not a complicated look, then you don't need so many brushes, right? So why do you need so many blending brushes? Because you're probably going to do your makeup every single day. And therefore, it's very good to have more than one blending brush in case you're doing your makeup one after the other and you haven't had time to clean your brushes. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, all of these blending brushes will pretty much do the same thing. So it makes no sense for me to use different colors and use each brush. They pretty much work the same. Now I'm just going to go back in with that tapered blending brush that I used. And I'll go back in with the color Not A Fact again. And here I'm just blending between the two colors. So I'm half in and half off the shade that I just placed. I'm going to take the same brush that I just used and I'm going to go back into spiraling. This is the flat synthetic brush and I'm just going to re-intensify the lid color. Did not anticipate this look being so beautiful. I mean, these colors. Shane did that. He really did that. It's so crazy to think that this is the one year anniversary of this palette. So anyway, I'm just re-intensifying every color. I could take another blending brush. This is just one of those flat brushes. I'm going into the black in the palette and I'm just going to use some black on the edges just to add a little bit of depth. Although this look doesn't honestly need it. Now I'm just going to take the pencil brush that I was calling useless a few minutes ago and I'm going to go into Diet Cola which is the silver shade from the palette and I'm just going to take that and put it on my inner corner. This brush is doing a very very nice job despite what I just said about it. Then I'm just going to take this brush from this set and I think I'm going to go into sleep paralysis and I'm just going to put that on the center of my lid for a little bit of dimension although this look honestly does not need it. Alright so I'm going to take another blending brush from the set and I guess I'll use this on my lower lash line. I'll tell you why. This brush has maroon and that gunmetal shade on it. So I don't want to go down. Since I was blending these colors, right? And I was half on and half off. 
it has both the colors on it so i don't really want to use it under my lower lash line because it'll just look very muddy so i'm just taking another brush from the set and i'm just using that under my eyes because a grunge look is not complete without a lot of color smudged under the eye It's giving the look quite a bit of continuity from the top here, so that looks good. I guess I'm also gonna take that flat brush and just go in with some sleep paralysis. Just a smidge under my eyes. Since this is a grunge look, and the grunge looks are messy. Okay, so how many of the brushes have I used from the palette? I've used this one, I've used this one, this one, this one, and not bad. I guess I haven't used four from the set, but I think even by me demonstrating using these brushes, that should justify 360 rupees for you, right? Okay, what I've decided to do is go in with the black and the flat brush again. And I'm just smudging some black into my lash line to give me that nice grungy look. Okay, lashes, lipstick, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look. I mean, wow, how vampy, right? And how vampire-y and how grungy all of this look. And hopefully this video breaks that thought in your head that you need to spend so much money to buy makeup brushes. So yeah, that was it. That was the video. In this video, I showed you two of my favorite Amazon brush sets with just these two brush sets. I mean, I've accomplished this entire look. I'm sure you'll agree that it's totally a bang for your buck. I'll leave it all linked in the description down below. So check that out if you're interested in getting these brushes. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram. If you want to see more from me, I'm Curly Girl Michelle. Okay, so bye. I'll see you in the next one.